Hello, this is Marcus from Crack Tiles. I just want to show you I finished the uh, incubator. I have it running off one of them Zilla thermostats. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna run it for the next couple days just to make sure it keeps the same temperature and everything. So I put aluminum foil tape all around the uh, cooler first. And then I put the heat tape over it for the heat tape's not touching the styrofoam. And I just made the heat tape go all around the whole thing to that little spot right there. I have the probe right there. The probe for the Zilla. So that's right there. And the heat tape runs all around. And then I have this lid. There's like a little. And it seals perfectly. So. I plugged it in, it works good. So I'm just gonna run it all night. Keep a, I have a thermostat. I'm gonna throw a thermostat in there. Uh, make sure everything's running good. Uh, I'll run it for the next couple days. Make sure it runs good and I'll be ready for when my geckos start breeding. So cheap way to make an incubator. It was really easy. I just soldered the wires right to the uh, heat tape. Cause I don't have no more clips, so I just soldered them. I had the leftover heat tape, so, and I had the Zillow thermostat already, so only cost me a couple bucks. Better than buying a really expensive one. And I got a really bigger cooler. It's this is like a cooler. I got a really bigger one in the garage, so I'll use that one for my next incubator. That's like really big. It's like three feet by three feet. It's pretty big. So that'll be my next one. So I don't have to buy a new one. Alright, just want to show you that real quick. Alright, thanks for watching.